my name is Kerry from Multidimensional Quantum Healing. I thought I'd continue on in sharing uh, another one of my stories about how I have also healed myself from many big conditions. So leading on from my heart, um, we're going to another story which involves my thyroid Hashimoto's. So this began, I suppose, I suppose the trigger for this to occur was the birth of my children. So in 2015, I gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. I'm very grateful. They're the most blessing in my life. I love them so much. It was emergency surgery. My body went into massive shock after this surgery. Um, I'm very connected to my body and I felt from that moment of the surgery, of the shock, I was, became very disconnected, a lot of pain. Um, and every time you go and do something, there's that ouch from that major surgery. Um, I've never really had major surgery in my entire life. So that was a massive shock to my body. I was also all alone when I gave birth. Um, no family here in Perth, Western Australia. My family were in, the, were in the UK at the time. My then husband's family were over east. He didn't come back to the birth, which then made it extremely stressful. Probably the catalyst for us then ending up with the divorce, but that's another story. But from this, these events, these events have been like shook out my own body from the surgery. Being handed these two babies I had to keep alive. The fight or flight hormones, I was, I was constantly in a state of survival. My body was running overdrive. I didn't get much sleep. Um, I tried to get them in a good sleep routine, but I feel like a lot of it, because I was so much in fight or flight, it was hard to then calm my baby so they would sleep because my body was just in overdrive and I didn't know how to reset it. I had too much to do. I had, I had a husband that I had to cook his dinner for. I had a house that I had to look after. I had no support, really. Um, this then led... To me hurt my back but again it's another story I'll, I'll maybe follow that one on from this one so in from 2015 my health started to drop rapidly um, it was not fun my mental health I started to become quite angry because I was so tired and I I couldn't rationalize things in my brain it was like the lack of sleep I couldn't I couldn't figure out the most, the most simplest things became quite difficult, became quite stressful and then quite resentful because I didn't have anyone to help me and I knew I was starting to drown. I thought I could take on the world and it would be okay and it, and it started to drown me. That led to my health going completely backwards. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. And I went to the doctors and I was like, I feel terrible. I want blood tests and they were like you just you've had twins of course you you're, you're tired there's nothing wrong with you it's like please just can I just have a blood test I just if anything it puts my mind at ease I, I just know there's something but I don't know what it is and he wasn't almost going to take me in for a blood test and then he was like okay and then I went in for that blood test and then the results came back oh, your thyroid's actually not working properly. And it was like, oh, I was actually like almost excited by the news. Oh, I've got an answer. Brilliant. Okay. What does that mean? We're going to put you in for some more tests and we'll see if it's, if it's, it could be worse than just, you know, just these hormones, this thyroid out of balance, but we'll have a look. And I'm like, okay. So again, wasn't, never really looked at the thyroid, never really studied the thyroid before. Uh, going for more tests, come back, go for results. Oh, it's autoimmune, you have Hashimoto's. And I was like, what does that mean? It means you're gonna have it forever. Doctor said to me, very certain. You're gonna have this condition forever. I've never heard a doctor say that to me before. So I chose not to believe it. Um, so as you know, if you've listened to the video before when I had my heart, um, Basically, the doctor said the same thing. You will have this for the rest of your life. And it'll probably get worse. I chose not to believe that. And I knew from past experience that I could heal this. And then I started on the processes of healing my thyroid. 
So my background, I went to university when I was in the UK. Um, my qualifications are in nutrition and exercise, even did a master's in public health. So it's always been part of my, that was my love for the body, my love for people, my love for how everything works um, with these beautiful bodies of ours. So I started then to research, okay, fire, what do I need to eat? What do I need to do? Some strange things. I started to even put like mushrooms in smoothies, different kinds of healing mushrooms, Chinese mushrooms, raw ones as well. I was doing everything and I could feel the shift. There's a massive amount of shifts. My body became so weak. I actually became ultra sensitive when I had the twins. So it was almost like I could feel everything too much. It was almost like my aura became so porous that I was so sensitive to everyone, everyone's emotions, everything, my environment, I felt like I just wanted to hide away. And even with these different things that I was taking into my body, I could feel immediate kind of shifts within my body as I took in these different kind of compounds from nature, I suppose we can call them. And I started to feel better. I actually did a huge gut cleanse. So the gut is so important if you want to do any kind of shift within your body. You clean your gut out, it's like resetting the body, new start for the body to start regenerating more of its own good cells to get you in a good place. So clean the gut out, started on this kind of eating everything that could heal the thyroid. So when I set my intention on something, I actually really go for it. And then I got to a good place and I was doing the similar thing to my heart really, but I knew my, I just was so busy. I couldn't put the full, the full essence of my power in there. And I was so weak from everything. It was like the, it was like the, the same kind of technique that had helped heal my heart wasn't quite cutting it. And even though um, I actually, by the time it got to three months, I was feeling really good. Well, especially compared to where I was when I first found out when I got the diagnosis of, um, of the thyroid condition. By three months, I was feeling really good. I'm like, I'm going to the doctors. I'm going to get another blood test. The blood test came back after three months that I actually was fine. My thyroid was working perfectly fine after three months. So I was like, wow, this is good motivation. But then I noticed I was, re I was too sensitive. It was so hard to keep myself at that level of feeling good. It'd be like one wrong word, one little event. I could just feel it and it, it was almost like it would push into me, it penetrate into me, into my aura. Um, I was just too sensitive. There was too many emotions. I was overflowing. I was like ready to burst with the amount of emotions that I'd held down to try and keep a brave face through a marriage that was ending, that was lifeless. Trying to keep a brave face for these little babies, for the world. There was so much going on. And then I started to realize, okay, not only did I have to detox my body, I got to detox out of these emotions. What's going on? And then with the the techniques for them noticing. So basically you have to notice it first. You can, if you deny it, no, I'm fine. Which a lot of us say, yeah, I'm totally fine. But if we deny it, then they just stay there. And I do describe it to a lot of people as it's almost like the cupboards, the door's shut and there's a can in there and it's festering. And after a can is out of date, I don't ever, I've, it's funny because I have this memory because I see it when I was very young. But when a can is out of date and then it expands and then it can just pop, makes a right mess of that cupboard. Um, so it was that feeling of like, okay, these emotions, they're like those cans in the cupboard that are out of date. They're so out of date that they're exploding. They're making a mess. And how am I supposed to live? How can I put anything else in those cupboards <laughs> when they're already full, when they're already full of these rotten emotions? And I started the process then of noticing, noticing my thoughts, noticing my emotions. And in doing that, I then got a lot of clarity, a lot of information come through me. And I started to heal my body. The 
those emotional splinters, those emotional thoughts, or those thoughts of any kind, basically, whether emotional or not, those thoughts with those frequencies that were like splinters from my entire body. I started to remove them all. Um, and with that, I started to get healthier and healthier. Um, I became a better mum. Life just started to get in place a lot better. Everything started to flow because I was getting the flow back in my body. And these bodies are almost like a reflection. Whatever is going on in the inner world is happening on the outer world. If your outer world is, world is chaos, what are you ignoring on the inside? And that's what I began to learn. And as I cleaned out the inside of my body, my whole entire life started to shift. Everything got easier. Um, I was able to support my twins, able to get in a really nice place, own my own home. Um, there's a lot we can do when the internal world is in a good place. We start to switch around and we start to see that beauty of the internal world on the house external. So I'm sharing this again as inspiration for you. So you can look inside. What is there that you're ignoring? And again, if you do need assistance with this, I have now um, been doing now for quite a lot, a lot of years now, helping people through shifting these emotional splinters out of their body. Because when they are removed, not only does your body heal and feel better, your entire life does. We are connected to everything. We're part of the divine. Whatever is in us is out of us. Go within or you go without. So I hope this has helped someone or anyone who's listening and I will share some more stories soon.